Hey there guys and welcome to episode 4 of the Reds of Steel City podcast. I'm your host Josh and today I have a couple of special guests. I have Julian, how are you mate? Good, thank you. And yourself? Good mate, good. Uh, We also have Steve, mate, how are you? Good, good, how are you? Very good buddy. And last but not least we have Ben. How are you lads? Great to be back. Fantastic. Good to have you. Unfortunately, Ray is absent this week, um, but you know the show goes on. I'm sure we'll carry he's, on with him. He's uh, on the phone with Klopp doing some last-minute dealings. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Obviously, as we're recording this, um, we are down to the last what about seven, eight hours um, of deadline day. So, two a.m. Australian time. Yep. Two a.m. There you go. So it's uh, closing in fast, and I'm sure we're not the only Liverpool fans and that are sitting there. Sort of going. We haven't done much signing. Do we need them? Should we be signing anyone? Um, and um, yeah, we'll get into all that and obviously analyse the upcoming game, obviously between Norwich and us. And um, we'll talk a little bit about the Community Shield and how unfortunately it didn't go our way. But um, everything else to come. Oh, we've dropped in and out. Everyone still there? Yep. Still yeah, here. We're still here. Good stuff. There it is. Right, hey guys. So we'll. Um, We'll start off with the Community Shield, obviously. Uh, yeah. One all, <clears throat> pardon me, one all after, obviously, regulation time and into penalties. Unfortunately, couldn't get the job done at the end, but overall, um, not, not a bad performance. Pretty sloppy, I would say, in the first half, from what I watched. Yeah, pretty pretty much it was a bit sloppy. Second half, uh, it's quite enjoyable, actually. Good to see um, all that passing possession and made City pretty much under the pump, I reckon. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think that's a good sign. Good yep. sign, well well signed. After the break and after the, the trials that they've had and uh, and all that, not that many wins, obviously. Mm. But, um, yeah, it was a good sign. Yeah. yeah. Look, I, I thought it was competitive. I guess that's how I describe the game. Um. Look, I guess the concern to come into a game like this, um, you know, the players consider it a pre-season game, and, um, which it is, it is a pre-season game, but it's, you know, they look at it as a glorified friendly. However, you know, that, that's not what this was at all. It was an intense match. Um, you know, the intensity, you know, uh, the players, um, you know, allows it to be as competitive as it was. Um, you could mm. see that. Uh, that's what they wanted to. That the the players didn't see it as a friendly. Um, I think both teams will take something from this, and mm-hmm. I honestly think they've got a clear idea on how to beat each other. Yeah, um, it was a game of two halves. If you look at at the first half with City uh, doing the things they were doing with uh, Kevin De Bruyne working on the inside, um, you know, and playing off the shoulder um, of the central midfielders and, and forcing us to defend, um, players making overlapping runs and, and running down the centre, hmm. um, causing a little bit of confusion for, for everyone, you know, centre-backs not knowing, should I stay with that player or, or yep. go with that? Um, and to be honest, City could have scored if they had a bit of, you know, scored a few more if they had better delivery. Um, yeah. Jump into the second half, um, you know, it was Liverpool's half. Um, hmm. and this is where we showed exactly how, how to beat City. Um, and that's uh, you just force turnovers really um, with with high pressing. Um, mm. Man City very, has very unlucky to... not to score. Very lucky. Three, I think it was three or four times hit the post. Who, City mm, or yeah. us? Us. Yeah, mm. yeah, mm. definitely. And look, it could have gone either way because again, if City had better delivery in that first half, right, there were probably yeah. chances they were scoring. Yeah. Um, well, you look you at know, it before we before we get obviously you know too far into the second half. Obviously, we did. Um, we we started pre- with a pretty well, you know, almost starting eleven. Um, if you can say that, obviously, may have been a few tweaks in there we could have changed, but obviously, typical four three three with um, Trent and Gomez, Van Dyke, Robertson in the back line, one Adam, yep. Fabinho, Henderson through the middle, Salah, Firmino, uh, Firmino and then Origi up up top. Um, you know, you, you know, it's it was pre- it's pretty much a lineup that played. Yeah, you want to play every week, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that's our starters, and and that's exactly um, right. Obviously, you know the bench was very. It was it was good to see that we pretty well had everybody firing and ready to go. You know, even the bench. You know, with Shakiri and Matip, obviously yeah. came on and scored, and um, Lalana, the Ox back, 
and um, yeah. cater back from he's, he's he, well, he made the bench which was good because obviously he had that little niggle early on so um, yeah good signs obviously and as I think it was Julian just said it's I think that's pretty much what it's going to be like throughout the season with us you know what I mean like when we play City again it's um, anyone can win it's you know, who goes out there and scores more goals than the other are pretty well. I don't think it's going to come down to bad defensive or no anything and like that or poor keeping from both sides. I think it's just, you know. The, yeah, that's L- right. And that, lucky if not hitting the post and, yeah, good yeah. good or great goals. That's what and, it's going to go. Yeah, that's right. And that's why I think I think both teams worked out how to beat each other. Mm, yeah. um, because City don't like playing without the ball. When they mm. lost the ball, because they play such a high, uh, I guess... They like to poke the ball at their feet, and they like to play forward. And they like to play, and they you know send everyone forward. And when we press high and we win the ball back, then it leaves them defending in one-on-one situations, yeah. which yeah. their defenders and their centre backs don't like doing. You can see they're uncomfortable in one-on-one de- or one-on-one defending. Um, and you know what? We were unlucky not to have a few more goals either. Hmm. Um, look, the way I see this game is City will take positives. We'll take positives. Um, in the second half, we had City on the ropes, and look, we haven't had the best of preseason, and we needed that, you know, needed to up that intensity probably five or ten percent and yeah. get into an, into the next gear. Hmm. Um, and we certainly did that in the second half. Um, yeah, look at it was stat. interesting. Yeah, look, looking yeah. at the stats itself, obviously, um, I think the biggest advantage <coughs> Liverpool has over City, if any advantage, I think, is fitness for me. I think yeah. our fitness is much better than theirs. Um, <coughs> yeah. You can tell that obviously once the the boys come on in the second half, um, you know, even just from the stats, you know, the passing accuracy pretty much eighty five to eighty one percent in our favour, you know, passing accuracy, or sorry, passes in general, you know, five twenty five to us, four seventy eight to them. They conceded more fouls than us, which to me brings in the whole um, pace and how then the speed and so forth of how we play. Um, yep. They they get caught out and then obviously they make little mistakes um, and then obviously the corner count obviously we smashed him in the corner count as well so yeah you know well it was it was interesting because apart from Salah's chance in the first half we really didn't threaten too much no um, but then I guess that sh- it shows the significance of it really we had a poor first half um, but then the mentality was okay to come out and then play out play our game and then you know we saw the way we played um, and how we measure ourselves in response to the opposition. Um, and we probably saw the best of Liverpool in that second half. Uh, and that's Liverpool we know and the Liverpool we've grown accustomed to all over last season. Um, mm. The way we played that second half was how we played most of the last season. So um, it was definitely a good, a good warm-up. And let's remember, Man City's not chump change. It's, we're going head-to-head against the team that we went to head-to-head with in the Premier League. Yeah, for thirty-eight games, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the best teams in England, and to be honest, I think they've probably, as a squad, got the most complete squad in the world, from the starting eleven to the bench. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're packed to the brims, and we've said it before: City can bring up a whole another starting eleven and still probably challenge for the Premier League, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, yeah, hundred um, percent. It, it was great to see us dominate them in the second half. Um, and look, you know, a moment of brilliance from Walker to clear or mm. another goal line clearance. And it was unlucky that that didn't go in because then we would have yep. won 2-1. And, you know, I take it more as a draw, you know. It was yeah. 1-1 at the end and we went to penalties. There was no extra time. There was nothing like that. It was, it's a draw where someone was named the winner because they scored, a, you know, penalties. Yeah. It was funny because I was talking to a mate um, via messenger obviously while I was watching the game and it got down to penalties and so forth and I said to him as soon as before everyone before the penalties even started I, I'm i like the only person that I was worried about missing the penalty out of our five was Wijnaldum um, yeah okay <laughs> he just it just I don't know out of all the blokes that were kicking that ball I just thought if anyone's going to miss I, be him. I, I thought it was going to be him um, but at the same time obviously he didn't have a bad game no. So you can hold his head, hold his head high, and you yeah. know what is it? I'll, One trophy we've missed out on out of what six more to go? Seven. Oh, seven. Come yes. on. Look, I'll, I'll I'll put this the best way I can. We lost, and 
we um, we're going to look at it as a friendly and a good warm up. But if we won, we would have celebrated like it was the Champions League. So, um, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, yeah. it really is. As I said before, it is a glorified friendly. The players didn't take it like that, which is great. But yeah. it really is. It's a community shield and it's a curtain raiser to the Premier League. That's all it is. Yeah. I think, I think, um, I think Carragher said it all best as well. It was in one of his um, pre-games. It was like, you know... Um, oh, you know, City won, obviously, another trophy, la 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 and he's just sort of turned around and just gone, yeah, well, you know, if it was the Premier League, not, you know, 90, 90 minutes and that was it, you know what I mean? It would have been a draw and end of story. And that, That's both, exactly right. Both teams would have walked away and just went, well, shit. Correct. We possibly, we possibly could have, both teams possibly should have, should have got something more out of that. Um, that's right. City could have scored more in the first half, which they probably should have, um, with a few chances, and in the second half, obviously, Liverpool... Could have, um, yeah, it could have been a different story again if we hit a few away. Yeah, that's that's hundred percent correct. But anyway, it's, it's, a draw. it's, it's done. It's, it's dusted. Move on. Um, we'll move on, obviously, into our player profile for the week. Uh, so we're going to go Matip, yep. the um, man of the moment. Another back, another another centre back. Um, another. Oh yeah, Ben. Very quiet. Another one, born from, another one from Germany, mate. Another German, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, no, he's not German, he's Cameroonian, but... <laughs> Bokum born, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, look, obviously we'll talk about his, his season last year and obviously um, he's run into the, the or this season coming. So, um, you guys, thoughts on his performance last year? Obviously, we've been giving ratings and so forth, you know, 9s out of 10... Yeah. Ten out of ten. I, well, I, I, yeah. I don't see it being don't that high. He, I was going <laughs> to no. say I don't think he's going to be that high. I think no. You know, for me, I think he would have been a seven and a half, eight. But if Gomez did not get injured, I don't think he would have played much more. Mm. You know, the, if if that was the case, because he probably would have played. That. He probably would have played at least ten, fifteen games. You know, but. He is a very lucky guy that he's, you know, and then obviously form coming to it and he played towards the end of the games, end of the season, outstanding. He, he, had, he did have a great end of season. So, yeah, that's, you yeah. know, seven and a half, eight. That's where I'd put him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, I, I've probably got a similar view to you, Julian, as well. I think uh, probably at the start of last year, um, or at the start of the, the season of last last Premier League season, it was really, it was probably out of everyone that spot where Matip ended up finishing was was Lovren's. Um, he lost, yeah. he got injured after the World Cup, but he had a great yeah. World Cup. And I think if he came back fit from the World Cup, he would have just slotted in there and would have started the Premier League because yeah. you had a player that just yeah. come back from the World Cup, he came back injured, and that's fair enough. So then that that spot was open slather. Um, where Matip had a couple of games, Gomez had a couple of games, Gomez had a good run, Gomez picked up an injury, Lovren came back, Matip was in, um, and it was probably, you know, back and forth, and I've pr- probably remained pretty much on the fence saying that spot there um, next to Virgil is anyone's for the taking. I honestly don't believe, out of the th- those three centre-backs, there's probably much to split them in terms of Who's better? Gomez has lots of potential, yeah. But his consistency is not there. And then if you throw him slightly out of position at right back, yeah, his positioning's completely off. And he's had some off moments, and he's had some spectacular moments. Um, mm-hmm. But look, Matip, he had a great run towards the end of the season, um, and and performed performed well, and and probably cemented the spot. Yeah. Uh, so for last season, I'd probably give him a seven once he got into you know as an overall. <coughs> If we're going to look at his season as yeah. as an overall package, um, however, I wasn't too impressed with him in preseason. Uh, hence, why I felt like he probably didn't start the Community Shield, um, and Klopp went towards more towards Gomez. So, are you um, going to say that he will not start the Premier League season? I don't know. I think he'll start considering he scored. Just because he scored? No, 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 no. Not just because he scored. I think he'll start because he's had a great last season. Right. I think coming into this season, it was, again, 
Klopp's going, out of these three centre-backs, Matip, Gomez and Lovren, any of these three can be a starter in this squad. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And that mm-hmm. pre-season, were, the pre-season, let's judge. And if you slip up, and remember, these play, players are playing at the highest calibre football. Yep. So if you slip up, you make an error, your, your job mm-hmm. could be under You're the, the back line. of the line. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's exactly right. And especially in a position like that where there's lots of players, uh, you know, your position will come under threat. That spot and the centre midfield spot, they're the two spots in our squad that we're loaded where if you have a bad game, you can be benched. And that's fine. We'll bring another player in. Um, so, if, if... Okay, sorry. If the three of them have bad games, who do you put? Do well, you put Fabinho... Do you put no, the young, no. young, young new no, no. fellow well, in? Then, no, yeah. well, then you, you, you rotate, you rotate yeah. the centre back line. So, yeah. okay, if Matthew has a bad game, well, okay, who's, who's, who's training well? Who's showing me good stuff in training? You know what, mm. Gomez? Or, they've got different attributes that they bring to the squad as well. That's the biggest thing. So, depending on the game and depending on the player, you know what? This, if we're versing a team that's got quick players, all right, let's look at... All right, I'm going to say Arsenal as an example. You're coming up against... Pepe, you're coming up against Lacazette and Obama Yang playing at the front. I'm playing, I'm probably playing, let's say Matt had a poor game last game and Gomez is training well, he's fit, he's quick. I'm throwing him in the centre back row next to Virgil mm-hmm. because he can pick up pace where someone like Lovren probably will get terrorised in that role. Whereas yeah. you're playing against, and if you're playing against a big uh, strong striker and let's say Gomez has a bad game well then you're probably putting Matip in because he's quite tall um, yeah. and, and will stand his ground so you know I guess it's going to be hard to pick who's who's going to start I think um, Matip probably will based on his form last season and he played well in the in the um, in the community shield so yeah, yeah. I, think, I, th- I think personally he's made you've, you've I'd take both you know things from both of you is what you just said the biggest mm-hmm. one is as Julian said they are two completely different players um, I, f- I find Matip is much more attacking minded defender yep. he wants to move forward he wants to look for the you know the as if, even from a fullback role he's looking for the assist almost you know what I mean he yeah. wants to be involved the cutting in, pass you yeah, know what I mean the cutting pass Gomez is definitely not that player Gomez no. is sit in the back line don't go anywhere I'm not going over halfway. I'm not going anywhere near halfway. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm here to stop balls, get rid of the ball, and that's, you know, I mean, like, go, Matip will score goals. He scored three, I believe, for Liverpool so far. Gomez definitely hasn't scored a goal yet. Um, yep. And I think that's, as I said, those three goals have been crucial goals. Every goal that Matip scores is crucial for us. Um, <clears throat> as for his performance last season, you know, look, you can't as you can't really fault anybody on a side on the side that obviously we um the performance obviously of the season that we had they all done their job whether they had poor games every now and then they still That's right. they still done their job Matt Tip I believe won't start against okay. Norwich I think I, I think I, I I agree I don't I, think he will I think, start I, I think, think Gomez yeah yeah. Yeah. I yeah. do. Look, going Gomez back, going back to the, the type of players that, we've, that, that you've got there, like like we've mentioned before, you've got two completely different centre backs in both Matip and um, in Gomez, and uh, bringing it back to more of the fact of yeah, okay, very much an attacking for Matip, whereas Gomez is very much a, a, a defensive sort of player. I find that Matip's a lot more physically imposing than what Gomez is. Yeah, that's yes. exactly right. Um, 150% on that. But again, you, you take the upcoming game against Norwich. Norwich have got a very quick forward in Timu Puki, who yeah. is going to look to try and bust bust through the defence, try and find in and break with speed behind. So I, I, I would agree with the fact that I don't think he's going to start for the season. I think that one... That injection of pace and younger legs through Gomez, will Gomez, be, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to be the pick of the crop for that for that game. But in saying that, it's good that you guys have got the um, you know a, a very well rounded um, and versatile set of backs. You've got yeah. both types of what you need, and and Klopp can pick and choose as he see fits based on yeah. form and what he's coming up against uh, in, in the league in in, in opposition. 
Well, yeah. you, can, you can compare it, obviously, for the, even the last couple of seasons, um, whilst Klopp's been at the helm, even even Rogers a little bit. Um, the more... It, it, Obviously, back in the day, in that, and especially Liverpool's case when Carragher and so forth were at, at the back line, they were never changed. You know what I mean? No. 90, 90 minutes every week. There was no. It's where Klopp has no dramas going to the back, going to the bench, take wait or taking one of the three subs and going. I'm gonna rip. I'm gonna rip him out. And I'm gonna put this centre back in, or this wing, this left, or mm. this bloke into left back, whatever. Um, yeah. If he feels he needs to, because as I said, game or. Matip's starting and he's getting flogged up and down the friggin' um, in the back line or you yeah. know, they're not that speedy. We need someone in there more physical, so rip him out, put um, Matip in. Um, I think Matip will play plenty of minutes, even though... Uh, it, say, say they don't get injured, either of them don't get injured, um, and they pretty well go through the whole season unscathed. I still think Matip's going to play a fair bit of minutes. Um, yeah. Even if it isn't so much in the back line... And maybe in the defensive midfield sort of role um, at times. At times, um, again, there's plenty of games to be played, plenty of competitions, and that's, and, that, and that's what I think. I think there's an opportunity where everyone's going to get game time. And you're exactly right with uh, with the substitutions. You, you've seen it plenty of times where, where you'll pull one centre back off and put another one on instead, or yeah. or you know you'll. Pull Trent Alexander Arnold off, move Gomez to the right, bring on Matip, bring on Lott, whoever it may be, yep. um, just to add that extra body or, or just change the style of def- defense up a little bit. Yeah, which is good to see. It's good to see. Yeah, oh, that's because exactly right. There are still teams playing, <coughs> pardon me, at the moment, um, especially in the Premier League still. That that's it. You know what I mean? Four full backs go on, and that's it. That ninety minutes, they will not move. You won't. They won't change nothing, even if they are getting punished. Um, yeah. The coaches will just let them go, see out the ninety minutes, and then make their decision whether they get another chance next week. Um, yeah, and I think those subs allow Klopp to work out okay as well that the fitness of the centre backs. And two, it's also for the fact that okay, we're getting that player on, and now you're seeing how he works in that rotation or how he works with that player. Yes, and it's yeah. also just a playing playing with lineups and, and getting them comfortable with each other. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Obviously, with, even with um, Vandenberg and, and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, like, I, th- I think he'll get his chance. He, you know, he, he won't get many, but these cup games and so forth. I, I really think he'll get his chance. He'll just virtually rest all the main players, probably Van Dyke and so forth as well. And um, yep. they'll get their chance. We've got plenty of depth in the back line, other than obviously the left. But. Um, Let's hope we don't get Wolves again in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> they carve us every time, freaking whether it's round one of the Prem or freaking whatever, the last round of the Prem. They freaking those, yeah, That's right. Piss off. But, um, but yeah, look, we'll, um, we'll start wrapping the tip up, obviously. I, I'll give him, I think he's about a seven um, from last season. Um, yeah. Interesting fact, though, that I didn't know. Um, as Ben stated, he has played 27 caps for Cameroon. Um, but he... He called it quits in 2015. I remember that. Um, which I, I didn't know. Like, I was very it was very weird. I was like, I thought he was still playing internationals. Um, I don't see, yeah, Cam- don't see Cameron think, play every week. So, yeah. um, uh, there was a political. Yeah, I was about to say. I think it was something to do with the coaching or political thing about it. Yeah. Yeah, right. Because I think I think Samuel Edo stepped away at the same time. Correct. Um, so Maybe. there was something going on there. I can't remember. Mm. Better left for another podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm not going to get too much into it. But yeah, just when I was yeah, chasing up some information and so forth, I was like, oh, right, he only played five years at international level. It's interesting. Um, but again, we'll take it. That means he's not going to go on international break and <laughs> he's ready to go for um, yeah, the game one. If well, Less injuries, we'll say. Well, he, he almost got suspended. Yeah, right. Because uh, he refused to play and they called him up. And they yep. said, well, if you don't come and play, well, you can't play for your club. <laughs> uh, it, which it, it almost went through. Uh, yeah, right. but Because the, I don't think technically you're allowed to refuse a call up without mm-hmm. good reason. Yeah. Uh, so then he officially, I think he officially retired. Yeah. Oh, well, again, um, wasn't going to affect yeah. us. He didn't come to us until the end of 2016. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it, was a, it was Shulk that was going to suffer. Um, yeah. So, but anyway, obviously moving on, we'll, we'll see how he goes. Obviously, in the 
in the game. I, I think he'll get on, I reckon, against Norwich. But, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, we'll move on. Obviously, we'll get into a little bit of transfer news and obviously what's going on other than Liverpool and what's caught your eye in the transfer window and so forth. But we haven't done much signing this year, as um, Julian likes to let us know. He's very, 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 very upset that he feels that we're missing out. And um... I, I, I do feel that we are missing out. I, look, to be fair, I would like to see some kind of backup for Trent and Robbo because I feel that we might be a bit short and we are just going to flog them to death, which I'd love to see them every game, but they do need a rest, like mm. normal, normal athletes. But you know, you 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 need that backup. I think everyone yeah. else has got a backup. Oh, that's right. So you know. Except, a disagree, mate. Three hundred sixty-five days a year, just about. Um. Yeah, close to it. <laughs> um, on a little bit of that transfer news, just because I've seen it and I don't want mm -hmm. it to go unnoticed. Um, apparently, as of with five hours to go, twenty-one hundred hours, Brighton are close to signing Huddersfield's Aaron Moy. Yeah, I there saw that go. earlier today. Yes. There you go. So that's not bad, two Aussies playing together. It's, it's yeah, be very good. good. Yeah, yeah. Also, with the Shaq and the Fabinho crap, that's out of the question. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. uh, Look. I, I love it. Love that sort of bullshit oh, wow. that goes on and on and on. Oh, and as I said, as yeah. I said today, I think who put it up? Someone said Shaq's possibly yeah. going to Monaco. That yeah, that was yeah. yeah. Uh, look, I think if. If Wilson didn't go out on loan, I think there's probably every possibility that Shaq could go. Uh, but now we're starting to get a little bit thin on the ground again. And mm -hmm. if injuries creep in, well, then we do. And with, what is it, five hours left, yeah, it doesn't yeah. make a whole lot of sense to let Shaq go once you've let a young player go out on loan as well. If mm -hmm. Wilson was still there and there was going to be a bit of competition, I'd say if we're getting a good coin for Shaq and, he's, and he wants to go play first-team football, power to him yep but i don't see him i don't see him letting, letting him go no. uh, it, again it's a, it's the same probably thing that we said about Lovren a few weeks ago if we let him go we're going to replace him with someone mm -hmm. and you, you, you're buying a like for like and then it's what's the point yeah that's right that's yeah, right look, look it's going to be as if a lot, a lot of a lot of weed and Interesting things happened in the last couple of hours of transfer window. Seen, That's why I love it. <laughs> seen, yeah, I know. It's yeah, great, isn't it? Seen, seen over the years just how interesting it um, becomes. I love the fact that, that it finishes at two a.m. Obviously our time, but then they've yeah. got like if if they're virtually done deals and that's finished, they get like an extra hour or two hours um, yeah, afterwards to, to finish it up to, yeah. to yeah. finalise it. If it's and then just watching teams virtually think that they've got it over the line after that. Yep, cool. We're in that model. Last two hours to get it over the line, and then you know a bloke like um, Demboa, who I can see it happening, just going, yeah, no, not happening. Um. Yeah, that's right. That's well, exactly right. Well, well, here we go. You got, as you said, with the um, Moy, it's going to Albion, and Dybala is not going to uh, Spurs uh, because Juve don't want to sell him. He's not going uh, to United. He's not going, he's not going <laughs> to United. Well, uh, if they're, yeah, they're not going to sell him, then Manjuki. That's right. Manjuki is probably gone, I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, Arsenal him. have taken David Luiz. Yeah, they have. I did see that. Has that officially gone through? I it looks like so. it. Yeah, I, I, I don't well, think it's 100%. He's, but, he's yeah. doing a medical right now. Yeah. Okay. I heard he refused oh, wow. to train for Chelsea today because he wanted to go. Correct. Right. By all means. Hey, David Luiz, go play with Mustafi there. Because... <laughs> oh, God. Because um, yeah, that's that's turned out great. They've um, they've got the the Rolls Royce of attacks at the front, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I'll beat up Toyota Corolla at the back. So that should be interesting. <laughs> um, oh come on, it was the same running joke we had for a few. That's years. right. We had the Where, nice, beautiful front, and then the crappy ass back. So and and I think Arsenal are falling into that slot. I thought, hey, great sign with Pepe. Uh, again, yeah. a little unproven. Uh, you know, League One's a little bit different pace um, to the Premier League. However, we've seen players move from League One to the Premier League with great success. Look at Hazard. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy's quick, and he's he's obviously got some talent. So I thought, great signing. He'll he'll blend well with Lacazette and Aubameyang up the top there. 
and they can form a great trio. Yeah, well, here's uh, another one back on that. Um, Kieran Tierney is, is currently on his way to Arsenal for a medical. As a Celtic supporter, that does cut me a little deep because he's <laughs> such a great player. But anyway, yeah. um, great And I'm sign. not a Celtic supporter, no. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's interesting no, We're going to have some see. good chats about that. It's, it's, it's interesting, you know, like obviously you were just talking before, obviously, um, Louise off, off to Arsenal for a medical, you know. The, the reports yeah. are that the, the fee is $8 million. So 10, <laughs> 25. Yeah, I 25. 25. 25. Well, from what I've, well, again, I'm only, it's, it's all source, it's all, every website's going to be different. Than that. I'm on Twitter oh. at the moment. And um, medical ahead of an 8 million euro move from Chelsea. Oh, Louise. Okay. Oh, yeah, Louise. Louise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were talking about Tierney. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. Celtic. Yeah, no, no, that's okay. Yeah, no. that, that's, that's okay. It's interesting. Thing. It's interesting, yeah, because he's, he's, he's getting on. Um, mm. It's interesting, you know. Yeah, I, you know I, what, to be honest, I've always looked at Louise uh, probably as a better defensive mid than a centre-back. Like, if it was me yeah, personally, I'd agree with that. Yeah, I yeah. would have moved him into the defensive midfield role. Yep. Mm. Uh, yeah, he loves to know, push up. He loves to push up. He's yeah. got a bit of lap, lapse of concentration playing at that back line, yeah. uh, being the last sort of defender. Mm. Um, sort of very similar to Lop, actually. Um, and, yeah, I just thought, you know what, he'd be a great defensive midfielder. He's pretty quick. He's tall. And he'll clean up the balls in the midfield in front of that, in front of the back line. Um, yeah. Interesting so to see we'll if he gets a go at Arsenal, though. Well, who did they got in front of him? They lost... Uh, Oh, they lost that. What's his last one? Yeah, good lost Kashelny. Kashelny. Best. Did anyone see that? Did anyone see that transfer reveal? Best transfer reveal. Oh, it was brilliant. I had no problems with it. Crazy. I had no problems with it. Uh, Unless you're an Arsenal fan, obviously. Um, Yeah, Yeah, but you know what? Might be salty, but. Yeah, what? Because he took one jersey off to reveal another. Or took off, yeah. Arsenal's chair. That's good. You know, I thought it was a nice take. He was peeling off. The old colours are revealing the new one. Get over it. Yeah. That's it. Thanks. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, we may as well go back, obviously, the whole... Um, we've talked about it on a couple of podcasts. Obviously, the Coutinho saga is still ahead. <laughs> oh, he's still. not at Arsenal. He's not going here. He's not going he to He doesn't want to go to Spurs. No, he doesn't want to go to Spurs. He's, he's somewhere lone... He's, he's, he's got the loan sharks on him, I think. Not, so. yeah. Apparently, United threw some money at him as well, and now he doesn't want yeah, to go there. Yeah, didn't want to go to there, didn't want to go to yeah, Arsenal. No. Liver, um, some, one of the former player, Liverpool former players said we should take him just for the loan. Yeah. And uh, I think I you know what? Thing. I yeah. think, you know, I think they should, realistically. Yeah. yeah. What, what, why yeah. not? Give well, it, give we it. got nothing to lose. We've got nothing to lose. lose, that's right. And it's, it's, right, not gonna co- it's not going to cost us anything compared to anyone else. That's it. They always bring us 90 mil. They still owe you money. That's, that's right. right. They, we can play him off the bench. We can start him. We can do oh. what the hell we want. We can play him like he played us. That's, that's right. It. Oh, look, yeah. <laughs> well, I'd give him six <laughs> months and he'd be like, yeah, sign yeah, me full time. Yeah, yeah, sign me full time. Yeah. No, no, he'd be that's like, right. just sign me full time, mate. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm coming back. As I said, I think a couple of podcasts ago when we first talked about him, he would fit back into the squad. He knows the manager, he knows what's expected, and he knows the players. Mm. That's right. If he drops into that starting line, for argument's sake, let's say he plays um, as a number 10 behind, even though, you know, let's say behind Bobby. He's played with Bobby, he plays with Bobby at international level, he plays with Fabinho at international level, he's played with Sully, he's played with Mane. He'll just fit back into that, into that it, squad like it's, a glass. You know, you know what? It's quite freaky it's, and scary for the other... Premier League teams. Oh, 100%. If that would happen. And I think if he's considering yes. going on to Spurs, to Arsenal, and he's exploring those options, as a club, we'd be stupid to let him go somewhere else because we know everybody. Yeah. And he knows the pace of the Premier League. He's That's used right. to the pace. Yeah. He will find his feet in that Premier League regardless. Yep. So yeah. it'll, be, it'll be an interesting one if he does. But Valverde said today, he says, as it stands... Coutinho is our player, uh, and it, you know it all depends on unfolds in the next couple of hours, I guess. Yeah, I look, would take him. I would take him. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's look, it's going to be interesting. There's so much going on. Um, I'd love to see Sane leave City. Um, apparently, it's not going to happen now. 
Um, apparently he's picked up an injury and picked up a knee injury or something like that, and because of it, Bayern's gone no. Um, oh, but see, Bayern need to make some moves. They've lost Rudy and Rob. Mate, uh, yeah. mate, mate. They, they don't got, need to no. sign anybody. They've got friggin' bloody the young Kiwi, mate. It's, it's <laughs> he's a superstar in the making. <laughs> Oh, well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> no, I'm Preet Singh. Preet Singh. Isn't he? Is he a Kiwi or a Fijian? No, he's Kiwi. Kiwi. Right he's right Kiwi. Krishna's right. there. Krishna's Fijian. there. Right. Krishna's there. Krishna's. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Look, we can go on. Obviously, we can go on. Um, I think we'll, we'll wrap it up for a bit. But we've two, two that I'm interested in. We'll go to United. Uh huh. Um, big one. <laughs> Lukaku finally got his wish. Gone. Oh, I thought we were talking about Slabhead. I was going to say oh. Maguire. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, look, All I right. think Man United just pulled up high robbery if they've sold Luka- uh, Lukaku to Inter Milan for how much? Uh, it was big. Yeah. 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 138 million. Yeah. yeah. That's highway robbery. <laughs> oh, yeah. Massive, today. massive. Ready? Have you seen the highlights that Man United fans have posted of Lukaku? No. <laughs> is that is that all the uh, missing? It's goals? all the errors. It's yeah, all the yeah. errors, uh, donkey touches, and the like. Um, and they're tagging Inter Milan. <laughs> no, wow. as they post it. So I'll give I'll give Man United props for a good banter there. You don't so any I'm, for I'm, I'm, I'm thinking um, Conte doesn't want his job no. next mm. season. Yeah, right. Mm. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think Lukaku will do fine. Syria. Yeah. Oh, he'll, he'll, I don't he'll, know. Yeah, he'll go well. Right. He will. It's, it, he's a physical unit. Yeah. In, oh, he's, he's a big unit, fine. yeah. I think he'll do fine. Yeah. And I think, for Inter Milan, they're pretty stacked. So, does that mean we're going to see one of their players? Maybe a Cardi leave? No, yeah, so it's... It's... Well, vo- voices are on that Cardi's going to leave anyway because they don't like his missus who's his agent. Yeah, yeah. Well, they don't like his... Yeah. There's lots of reasons they don't like his missus. They don't like him either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, typical United, though. They're no different to Barcelona and shit. They just can't help yep. themselves. They've just got to have everybody they want. And, you know, we'll, we'll sort out where they're going to play and if they're going to play later. Um, but obviously the last one we'll touch on and move on to another topic is Maguire. 80 million. Not uh, worth it. Oh, no. Or if you okay, if that's the new market, what's been dark worth now? Yeah. yeah, I think Ben and I were so set. We were talking about it yesterday, and as as I said to Ben, I said, um, I think it was Carragher was saying as well. He loves his stats, Carragher. I love listening to Carragher stuff because he's pretty so spot on. I. He's pretty spot on. He's like, yeah. He goes honestly. He goes, I thought we overpaid with Van Dyke. Um, when we bought him, I think he was only. He reckons he was only worth probably about sixty five. Um, at the time, sixty to sixty five mil. But you know we. Yeah. We, we, we got away with it, you know what I mean? We've we picked up a um, we paid the extra and we got something decent out of it. He doesn't again Maguire, he said if Van Dyke if he thought Van Dyke was worth sixty to sixty five, he goes, I couldn't have seen uh, Maguire leaving for anything more than fifty mil. Mm. Yeah. So it's just now gonna be one of those things. Is he gonna prove Can... himself and become a superstar? Or no. will he flop? Yeah. Well, look, I don't. I, I don't think he'll flop. I think he'll be decent. It can't um, be any worse than what they've got. That's I was exactly right. Say, it's probably um, probably his level of defense look, anyway. So <laughs> look, he's you know, if we pull it back, let's take the United bias out of it and let's forget the price tag. He's not bad. He's not a bad centre back. Uh, no, yeah. not at all. Mm. Um, he look, he, look, he looks his... good at Leicester when you there's not much else there. Well, <laughs> well yeah, there's that. <laughs> Um, so look, it's again they've pro- they've if they've overpaid, they've definitely overpaid on him. Um, but in saying that, uh, I guess it's a transfer market. You can't make any more. You can't make sense of it anymore. No, you can't. it's a joke. It <laughs> is no, a joke. It's, it's, it's also hold, inflated. It is. And yeah. Now let's strip this back. You look, you look at uh, you look at. 85 million for, for McBuyer yeah. and you look at 16 mil that we paid for Balotelli um, <laughs> oh, look at the big oh. job we've had in you know in transfer inflation and everyone said oh my god 16 million is ludicrous but then ludicrous. you're going and paying you're paying 85 million for, for Harry Maguire who's um, I guess you know I would say above average for a centre back 
Um, yep. And I saw I saw a good article today that said, well, okay, if if that's what he's going for, it gives hope. <laughs> You know, what would uh, a defender like Lucas Neal be worth yeah. in today's Yeah, we've seen that article too. Yeah, and it's a and tough one. I thought, one. It, was, a I tough thought one. it was a great one. I yeah. thought it was a great article. Because yeah. um, yeah. he's exactly right. was brilliant. When he was captain yeah. there, he was it, on his game. Even at West Ham. Yeah. yeah. Even at West Ham before... It, <laughs> he got injured before that move to Liverpool. Mm. Yeah. He right. was coming to Liverpool, if you guys remember. Yeah. Yes, he was. Yes, he yeah. was. Um, and I think he copped an injury. Yep. Um, and then that sort of derailed his career hmm. um, to an extent, but you know, yeah, yeah. yeah that's uh, it. So we can't, it's, it's we can't talk. We can't talk about friggin' yeah, as, as you said, stupid transfers and so forth. No, we all um, make them. How's how, how's Carroll going? Is he still playing football? Uh, uh, yeah, he's. I think he's still on the bench at uh, at West Ham. Oh, Jesus Christ, Ca- Ca- Carol who? Yeah, oh, freaking oh, hell. absolute waste of freaking money. But anyway, um, we could go on about stupid signings and. Hey, he, 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 did, hey, he did knock. He did knock Everton out at the FA Cup <laughs> for us. A couple. Remember that season? Yeah, he did, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Come yeah. on, what was it? Two a double? Yeah, it was a, du- <laughs> a, yeah, it was a double. Everton. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you win so, some, you lose some. Cult so. hero. <laughs> So um no 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 no, no. Oof, yeah he was he was a hero for five minutes um <laughs> so was the rookie <laughs> yeah, um, rookie era anyway anyway we'll um we'll dissect a little bit before obviously we'll end the end the pod obviously on the um Liverpool Norwich match but obviously we did do a little bit of business and obviously we let uh, Mignolet go um, great right. piece of business which I think is good <laughs> <laughs> it was it was. I mean, I was, I was really to... looking forward to keeping him and just freaking talking about him the whole podcast is so Ben to get shit um, every week. But... I'll still knock shit with, about I was going to say, we still can do that until we are gone. <laughs> <laughs> but um, obviously, when He's one He's gone ball... there to replace Matt Ryan. Oh, Jesus. Because they haven't had a decent keeper since him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, yeah, anyway. So, obviously, Mignolet's gone. He... Look, you know, you, you can't knock him. He done some good things. He had some bloody good games. Um, he had some shockers, but you know, shockers yes. in yeah, shockers welcome, in the pre pre season. Welcome, to the, welcome yeah, to the welcome so. to the competition of Liverpool goalkeepers. Um, yeah, <laughs> they all make them except for Alison. We pick, picked up uh, Adrian. Adrian yeah, from West Ham. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Look, yep. I think good it boy. was a great piece of business to be able to sell Millie and Mignolet for. What was it eight mil seven mil? yeah yeah um, so we picked up money <laughs> yep. and then we picked up adrian Enough. for free from, from west ham <laughs> um and it's it's that was damn I'm quick not, i'm not gonna say it was like for like but no. in terms of probably quality look at the end of the day Mignolet was a premier league quality keeper and he could have gone and played at let's say 16 other clubs in the premier league yeah. mm-hmm. apart from the yeah. top four he probably could have made it and he, and he did he played at sunderland in the premier league and they were doing fairly well yeah. And came yeah. to us, and he held the sticks decently well. He was the goalkeeper for our run a few years ago when we finished second. Um, so he had some highs and even some some lows. Uh, and yeah, Adrian, uh, I think it's a good bit of business. Yeah. Um, he seems pretty calm. He scored a penalty against Everton once, uh, <laughs> no, so I, I can't that. I can't complain. Uh, um, <clears throat> but I love, love goalkeepers at school. Has he? Love it. <laughs> Uh-huh. You sure? He scored a penalty against Everton. Yeah. I saw the video today. Took his gloves off and scored the winning penalty. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> all, the, all my previous stats that I had freaking when I was looking at stuff for him are telling me that he oh. hasn't scored a goal. But anyway. <laughs> penalty shootout. Maybe maybe it doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count. Record. Yeah, well, yeah. Ah, okay. Um, but, but, uh, but look, interesting you know. enough, interesting enough, Pepe Reina was linked back for a brief period and he was denied thank you uh, when Mignolet left thank you um, I read yeah. today <laughs> thank God for that um, <laughs> yeah so it's, it's, it was a good bit of business you can't you, you can't knock anything like that on a free um, nah. 120, no, no. 125 games for West Ham which you gotta, you got to think as well he's been there since 2013 um, mm. for those 125 games he's had to compete with some bloody good talent um Joe Hart wasn't wasn't obviously at his best when he was there, um, yeah. but still, but still, but still caliber and still took his spot over him. Um, you know, he hasn't, hasn't played much 
anywhere else. He pretty much, I think he came from um, Batis. Wow, Batis. Yeah. Yep. Before that, so, but you know, yeah, he'll get games. Give him some games in the cup, um, and we'll see what happens. I suppose. <laughs> you can't. You can't do any worse. The, the whole. No. The whole thing was, you know, freaking obviously. Oh, we're letting Minule go. We're going to get Carrius back. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> Keep him where he is. He's doing a great job. <laughs> Don't bring him back for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. Uh, you just keep heaping praise. You know? Just ring him back. You just keep ringing Carrius every week or whatever, mate. You're doing a good job. Great stuff. <laughs> keep, keep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you keep just that stuff up. Turkey, huh? I might bring. I might bring you back. Not happening. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> uh, I think it, it definitely wasn't the moment he lost the number one jersey, the literal number one jersey. Mm. I think it was it was all she wrote. Yeah, <laughs> when you see yeah. your squad, when you see your squad number go to another player, <laughs> and you're still a part of that club, you know <laughs> you're in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> especially when it's a keeper like keeper's yeah, especially numbers for a are. Yeah, you you just know you just know that's that not you want that number one on your back. Yeah, yeah. And interesting to see that he went number 13 as well, um, Adrian. Number what, 13? 13, yeah. Well, that was his number at West Ham. That was, yeah, mm, he had was that it? at West Ham. Oh, yep. yeah. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. I don't know. We'll, um, he'll, he'll get game time and we'll see how he goes. And again, if he doesn't do crash shot, Allison will have to play 80, Every 100, game again. 80, 80 100 plus <laughs> games. Um, and then Klopp's going to bitch about it at the end of the year because they don't get enough time off. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's two, they play too much football, apparently. So, anyway, moving on. We've moved from the transfer windows. We've a bit of this. We've done the player profile. We'll move into our final topic, unless obviously we come on and string on with more shit, which is what we're good at. We're very good at that. <laughs> it's our specialty, isn't it? Yeah, it is, absolutely. This is what people should be coming to the podcast for. They tell Ooh. us what they tell us what we're going to talk about and then it just goes off topic. <laughs> <laughs> but um we'll jump in obviously. How good is it? Couple of days to go. Thank Christ. Thank um God. It's been an absolute nightmare. Nothing worse than sitting there trying to watch shit football like Copper America and crap. Um and friendlies <laughs> just aren't the same, they're just terrible. People even even watching the Liverpool games of friendlies was just it was hard to watch. <laughs> very very hard to very hard to watch because you know that you know they're out there playing and you, you watch fans and obviously Twitter and all the all the social media side side of things and everyone's you know oh you know he played shit and la di da how can how can you honestly not tell if he was playing legit or if they were just out there freaking having a kick like just you, having a kick you know what I mean yeah, like some, you've got no yeah. idea if you know and some people I'm, I'm sure were put at, at, in some of those games were putting in. Um, you know, Correct. Milner was. Milner doesn't have a yeah. shit game, just to ask him. Um, we'll try. He gives 100% every every week. But at the yeah. same time, he didn't look crash hot in some of the games, and sometimes yeah. he did. So, But it was good to see the youth get through. And it'll be interesting to see what youth um, may get a crack in this game. Who knows what yeah. the bench is going to be? Well, that's right. Well, so. you've seen, I guess we've seen the youth that have been added to, to the, uh, the official first team now. Mm-hmm. Like Bobby Duncan's been added to the first team. He was in the uh, in the first team photos a couple of days ago. Yep. Um, was, so um, at, what was the, what was the other bloke? The um, oh, what's his name? It starts with H. I think it was H. Hoover. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It was, he was part, he's in there, isn't he? Yeah. 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 He was a part of it. Yeah, a, a part of it too. So, Seventeen-year-old gun. Good player. So yeah, it's oh, look, it's it's going to be interesting. I think what we said. I think it'll be. Change line week mm. for the first game. Yeah, I mean, and to touch on what you were saying, Josh, about um, you know the I guess not lackluster or subpar performances, but were they really playing? You know, in the preseason, mm-hmm. probably not. They were probably playing in second gear, if you know what I mean. Oh, 100%. Uh, of course, they want to win, but of course, they're kind of like, well, let's just take our time. That's easy. You know what? We've got a big season, yeah. uh, and that's sometimes the the bad thing about preseason because they go too hard and mm. they're tired by the time, you know, because they're playing all these extra games. You know, back 20, 30 years ago, you weren't going overseas and playing six games, if you know what I mean. How many games have we played this preseason, guys? Eight. 
eight. Eight, I think. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's you a know, lot. That's a lot of pre-season games. That's already a quarter of the Premier League. That's exactly right, and you're playing them every two to three days. Yes. Uh, and, and I think we saw, you know, as I think I touched on earlier, the c- Community Shield, we played a completely different way, especially that second half, and it's, oh, okay, no, no, Liverpool's fine. What you saw in yeah. pre-season was nothing. That's right. That's I think that's you're right there because everyone's going. Oh, God, we've lost out of the lost seven over in the states. We've lost. Yeah. We've lost four, and then we come back in second half. We're going. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. Yeah. This is All it. Right. <laughs> we turn. We turn the Ferrari. Put it in the yep. D six and said, "Let's go." And we opened it up on the freeway. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Our record obviously against Norwich is pretty good. Um, I'm sure Ben's got. Um, Ben's got a lot of stats lined up. Suarez back? Hey? You reckon we can get Suarez back on a game line? Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, talk about a bloke well, who loves yeah. Norwich. Oh. We, we haven't played Norwich since 2016. Yeah. I in think, the no, Premier no, League. That was tight that, that year, was, though. That, that was a good season for them, That was a 4-4 draw. Oh, that was where Lalana uh, ba- uh, Basson Young scored in the ninety second, and my mate Lalana scored in the ninety fourth minute. Was that Klopp's first season? Uh, Two sixteen, yeah, I think so. Yeah, would have yes. been. Would have been. Yeah. 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 I remember that so, game and Lalana. Yeah. yeah, Lalana popped up right at the end. Yeah. Right at the end. Yeah. Is that the game we played Stephen Corker up top? Sorry. Is that the game we played Stephen Corker up top? Yes. <laughs> Good old Corker, far out. See, um, centre backs get game time on the club. I'll play anywhere. <laughs> just, just, just to put it into perspective, obviously we're, t- we're talking Suarez on a game loan. Um, three games he played against Norwich. Yeah. Um, the results were five one to us, five nil to us, and five two to us. Yeah. Um, I think he scored seven goals. Um, wow! <laughs> in three games, so yeah, very, very, very good side. I'm sure they've got clinical. His, I'm sure, they've got his photo somewhere up in his freaking with a dartboard or on the dartboard up in the dressing room somewhere. Um, they're, they're they're just praying that he's not there. I'll tell you point. what. They, I'll tell you what Liverpool are going to do. They're going to they're going to pull out the old uh, Lewis Suarez cardboard cutout <laughs> and have <laughs> him in the tunnel oh, uh, yep. as the Norwich players walk out. Or one of maybe Firmino or Salah will take it under their shirt. <laughs> maybe raise on a prop now for a, for a, for a 24 hour cameo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Just getting back, but yeah, look, it's going to be an interesting game. Um, <clears throat> Norwich, I think, are a better side than they were in 2016. Just by yep. play perspective, um, they had a great season last year down in the championship. Better know all about that. Um, oh, I'll leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Played really good against Birmingham, I believe. Um, <laughs> actually, I think these guys beat him once. Yes, we did. Yeah, I was going to say one of the only sides to beat him, but you know, you got to uh, you got to beat more teams. I'll than take one. what we can get. You got to beat more than one team. <laughs> but yeah, look, it's going to be an interesting game. I think we're going to win comfortably. Um, Score predictions. Oof. I'm going four nil. Oh fucking hell! I don't think it's going to be that. Um, I, 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 I was going to say three. Yeah, you know, I was going to say three. three. I was going three. Three. I'm, I'm, well, is Mane? Would Mane be back? Because I'm he's not back. sure. He's is trying. he on the bench or? He's on the bench. I, I knew it, Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be on the pitch, but at some stage he probably will be. But all right, Origi for a hat trick. Whoa, hello. Origi. Hello. No, no. I'm going. I'm saying that off record. Right. But hey. No, look, I think three goals. I think yep. I don't see Mil- them getting past us. Um, mm. I think, I think Milner, if he, Milner plays outside the box, thank you very much. Well, <laughs> this is this is this is where I'm. I'm I was going to say um, what what is going to be the lineup. It's going to be interesting. I don't think Milner will play. I think he's he wasn't part of the Community Shield. I think he's got who, an injury or something. He, yeah, who, he play, had a, who, who played? Who played the Community Shield? Who started? So obviously in the so in the back line you had um, Trent. Mm-hmm. I don't think he'll, he'll lose pl- his spot. He won't lose it because who's uh, going to take it? 
Correct. Gomez, I think, as we said earlier, I think he'll start as well. Yep. Gomez will probably keep it. Um, Van Dyke might get his spot. He, he, he might get his spot taken. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> he might chuck a chuck a hissy fit. Yeah, L- Lovren. Lovren could take his slot in there. I reckon. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then obviously Robbie. Robbo. Yeah. Robbie on the Robbie on. Robbo, the, yeah. Ro- Ro- he's not going anywhere. So Midfield that's, for. That's pretty Fabinho much the back line. Fabinho staying. Fabinho's not Fabinho. staying anywhere. Um, um, Wijnaldum was it? Hey. Was it Wijnaldum on in the he's, midfield? He's, he started and Henderson started in the middle. I don't see yeah. Wijnaldum starting. Yeah. I don't see him he's, starting. I think he might lose Kato, to Kida. Uh, yeah. yeah. Depending I, I, on I would how, say yeah. that. Depending yeah. on fitness, I yeah. would say that. And also, okay. I don't think Origi will start. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to say Shaki will go in the in that side. I, I good old agree. good old Shaq. I for think. a curve for a curveball, I don't mind it, but yep. I don't think he'll start. I think it'll be Origi Salah. If Mane is going to start the bench, it'll be Origi Salah and Bobby. Well, that's my curveball, so I like you know, it. I'm going to say that. Yeah. Well, as I said, yeah, Mane won't start. I don't think. Um, and then obviously I don't think Firmino and Salah's going to get knocked off their perch. So it is only a really spot that may be possibly taken, and I, I, I don't think he'll get knocked off. I think he'll start. Um, yeah. After the new the new contract and all that sort of stuff, he would have been promised more game time. Yeah. Uh, I don't see it being much different. I don't see yeah, it being much yeah. different to what, what, what we threw up against City, even the, even the subs we brought on against City. Um, yeah, I agree. I, agree. I don't agree. think it's going to be much different. I think uh, the Ox will definitely get game time. Um, Lallana's... I think Lallana would probably be the one that I reckon may miss out. Yeah. Again, and you know, as I said, it's bef- five years ago, or whatever it is, we could sit here and go, he's going to be subbed on, he's going to be subbed on, he's going to be subbed on. Nowadays, yep. you've got yeah, no idea. Right. Klopp's the type yeah. of bloke where... He's He'll not... throw a curveball. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, I, again, another thing, you know, if Origi does play, and usually Bobby doesn't play a full game, does he? For me, no. Oh, uh, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Some, yeah. Sometimes, but I don't know. With, with, with the amount of football he's played, with the amount of football Correct. he's played, he won't start. He won't, football, he, almost, it, sorry, he it won't could, finish. It, it could mean that Origi mm. does start on the bench, him take over from Bobby, and either Shakir. Box or Lalana on that side. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. I don't think Lalana's got the legs to play on the. Uh, no. Yeah, I, no, I noticed yeah. that last season so. he doesn't have those. He no. doesn't have those legs, and if he's talking about reducing Lalana back to a defensive midfielder, yeah. I don't see him coming on at wing. He's a good option if you've got no left. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah. But yeah. I'm, you put Shaq on. I'm going to go. Honestly, my three predictions to come on. I reckon Ox will come on. Um, I yep. think I think he'll come on yeah, at, at some point for um, for Mino or even probably yeah. um, Origi. Um, the other one will be that'll get on will be Cater. Um, I think he'll come on for Henderson. Um, Henderson won't last ninety minutes. I, I'd almost put money on it. Yeah, I, I just yeah. don't. I don't think he's a ninety minute player anymore. I think he knows that yeah. the amount of games he played not, last season. Um, yeah, not any, not anymore. You know what I mean? No. I think he's happy to play sixty, was... seventy minutes and be yeah. done with it um, yeah, yeah. and then the third one will be interesting obviously you've got the likes of Lalana, Shaq and Matip and I, 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 I think Matip might get a go nah here's my third Brewster oh yeah again again okay. that's obviously looking if that's if they go the same squad as they did against City um, yeah I think if it's 80 minutes and we're 2-0 out and let's get some fresh legs Brewster have a run out we know Klopp's famous for making late subs. He usually doesn't. He leaves it quite late. Leaves his run late. If if we're doing fine, he won't he'll make only a sub do two anyway. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the biggest so thing what, with sorry, I think the biggest thing as you know, Julian's so keen on obviously, you know, we need more players. We need more players. Um, back line, we, as he said, we probably do. But yeah, you think about it. Obviously, as you said, you bring Brewster into the mix um, and so forth. There's so much talent that's going to miss out. Yeah, correct. You know what I mean? Oh, even, yeah. with, even with the likes of Lovren and Kate, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. There were six on the bench. Only three can come on. Correct. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that's three key talented players, whether it be Lalana, Shikiri, 
that's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then obviously you go yeah. into obviously your younger players as well. So and Milner who obviously wasn't even in the squad. So be it. Yeah, I mean so there's gonna be definitely players that aren't there. Um yeah, I think it's a good time to be a Liverpool fan. At, at, at the yeah. end of the day. I think it's yeah. just we're just we've got the most um talented depth Versatile. squad I've had in a while. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's what we I'm got doing. we got some good youth coming through as well. We're biting some good youth. Yeah. And we're and the players are all in age as well. When sitting here with a you know, a squad pushing thirty where majority of the players are probably mid mid twenties, twenty six. Yeah, that's it. They're push, yeah. pushing pushing thirty, um a few of them but um Yeah but, you, you know, know, I guess you've got well, that's prime Henderson's football. Well, that's right. But you got Henderson that's coming to 30, which is where you start to see him slowly drop off. But Salah's, what, 26, 27? Yep. Arne, 26, yep. 27. Bobby, 26, 27. They've got... Oh, they're pretty much the same, yeah. And Sid Trent, Gomez, Robertson, Origi. Oh, no, Robertson's an old fart. But um, Origi as well. You know, all all these young blokes coming through, plus all the youth yeah, that we've got early on the bench. Yeah, early 20s. And then, yeah, you bring on Brewster and players like that. Even mm. Ox. What's Ox? Mid-20s? Ox, yeah, 26, 26. 26. Yeah, he's he's in that sort of range. Van Dyke's twenty eight, I think. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah, that's probably the, the the oldest position. Really, is probably the centre backs. That's exactly yeah, where they're mean. starting. Where they're starting to get a little bit older, but a centre back's career is longer than you know probably any other position. That's right. Yeah. I think unfortunately maybe for Henderson. I think unfortunately for Henderson, I think he's um, you know, you don't like to say it. he's twenty nine. Um, He'll miss a, a fair bit. He's, got, unfortunately, got, I just I think, I think his body's. I think he's. I think he's just one one of those unlucky blokes in the midfield where I think his body's shutting down early than I think he'd like. Obviously, and obviously we would like because yeah. you know we want him to hang around and want him to I know that feeling. Yeah, <laughs> mate, he's a professional <laughs> athlete. He's got no excuse. Um, <laughs> he gets paid millions of dollars to look after his body and doesn't even have to do anything. Everything's paid for him. Just rock up, sit on the bench, sit on the table, sit on the chair, get in the ice bath. Yep. Get a rub down, whatever you know. So, but I, th- I think his, um, I think his days are numbered. I wouldn't, wouldn't. I don't think it's going to be too long before he calls it quits on the international duty, if he hasn't already. I don't think he has, has he? No, no, he hasn't. He's still, no, he's no, still, he still, still playing. Yeah, yeah he's, not... he's just been unlucky with heel injuries. Um, yeah. but it looks yeah. as though that's probably behind him because he touched wood. Um, he, I don't think he had a major heel issue last year. He did the, Mister Good. A yeah, good chunk. A good chunk the year before with the heel. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think it was heel issues. I think it was just freaking niggling, mm, yeah. shitty little things that just. Yeah. You know, it's or, tendony stuff. That's it. You know, yeah. we'll sit you out this or, week because you you got a niggling injury and we've got people to cover you. So. Well, that's yeah. it, and that's yeah. and that's a, the and that's why I said I think that centre midfield spot, it's cutthroat for our club because uh, yeah. there's so many players you can put in there. Milner, Lallana, Ox, because Ox wants to play in the centre of midfield now. He doesn't want to play on the wing. <laughs> you've got Keto, you've got uh, Winalda, you've got Henderson. Uh, so, yeah, it, it is a cutthroat position, which is good to have because competition yep. for places uh, doesn't breed, you know, uh, it, you know, it breeds success and it, it doesn't, uh, you know, there's no complacency. Yeah. No I, think, I think I was talking to a mate the other day and as I said to him, I said, um, I, think, I think this season's one, like, and again, I'm, I'm, I've never been the one to sit there and go, this is our season when we're doing well. Even last year, I was never... You know, no, there's no done. way we're going to stuff this up. You know, It's got to be our season. Um, but I do feel that we, if we're going to win the Premier League, it needs to be this season. Um, yep. Because I can't... As, or, we're as, as big, or we're spending big next season to Well, to the biggest problem is, I think, is we spent nothing this season. With this no. transfer window, right? You'll get you'll get the next transfer Which window means if if we're 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 lining up. January, yeah, but that's the problem. We're lining up, and I think the biggest problem is if we, as I said, I think we'll have a very good season regardless whether we win it. Mm. And because of that, um, your blokes like Origi, Firmino, Salah, um, even probably Robertson and stuff like that, they they're gonna be getting these ridiculous transfers oh, not yeah. to, not to go. Yeah, you know, I mean they they're crazy if they don't go. You know what I mean? Like and once they go, yep, we're gonna have a shitload of money, but then we start again. I don't yeah. know if that would be true because look at say City with say Aguero. Yeah. Or whatever. 
you have that talent there mm. and you don't really hear much of people wanting him. You know, teams wanting him Agu- and pulling him away from City. Agrarian. Yeah, so, but at the same time, at the same time, 31 years of age, um, his, di- I guess his discipline in his- is very hard. He's a very hard person to control. In- from what mm, I've heard. I, I guess, yeah, I guess looking at it, look, I think it's only a matter of time, and it's about to say this, but it's only a matter of time before we sell out or and they move on. But then again, it, that is also the nature of football. Oh, no, 100%. Uh, and as you said, our youth is very good. Um, yeah. We definitely have blokes on the bench and in the youth system that definitely get a crack and definitely get a chance you look at the likes of obviously Wilson and stuff like that who we've had to we don't want to get rid of it we've had to lend out on loan um, yeah, yeah. I think I think gone are the days of players staying at a club for six seven eight years 100%. Uh, especially in a in a game where and, and I actually think Ben touched on it eight you know maybe in the first podcast gone are the days of I guess where English teams are full of English players and British players. Yeah. That's where they're going to stay, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. Whereas there's international players. They're going to want to play in different countries. Yeah. Uh, the game is so internationally renowned, you know, and, and it's so free and easy. Yeah. Where Salah can go live in Spain or, you know, he can go to Paris or, or Mane can go to Paris or where it may be yeah. and get a big sum of money to play in titles. Yeah. Uh, but in saying that, it's a merry-go-round, and I think we're going to be in a better position if we lose a player what? quality to get that yeah. that quality back back straight away. Yeah, because um, yeah. I guess the big difference I see from this year and the season we finished second a few years ago was we had an aging squad, we finished second, we lost players, and we couldn't replace them. If we were yeah. to lose someone today, uh, mm. and really my only concern is the front three. I don't think Robbo is going to go. Unless he goes to Real Madrid, maybe uh, is you know Scottish. He's going to stay. Uh, he's not. He's not going anywhere. I don't see him going. He's not mm. going to go play for you know. We're starting to see English and British players go seas now, mm. but mm. it's it's still a rarity if you know what I mean. If he's playing at the top level of England and he's competing for Champions Leagues and this and that, and he seems like a pretty loyal guy, that I yeah. think he'll we stay. But someone like Salah and Mane. It's okay. What's the next adventure? We stayed here for. Well, I've gave my time. I've had a couple of yeah. years. Summer's already played in Italy. Yeah, um, yeah. He's played in Switzerland. Uh, you know, there's the ability for him to go. And I, I know where you, that. I know. I know where you. I know what you're saying. I know where you're yeah. going with it. Like obviously, the international players playing in another international league. It obviously, it makes it easier for them. Much more. Much more easier for them to get up and go. Yeah. Um, oh. At the same time, though, I think you know they're not stupid. Like you look at us. We're sitting here going. How did Maguire get $80 million? But Correct. They've got to be sitting there as well going, well, fucking hell, if he's got that much money, surely I've got to be worth decent coin. And Correct. It's all about money. You know what I mean? As much as players, and as you said, obviously there's no one, no one really sits for six, seven years anymore. Um, it's all about how much money you can make in the 15, 20 years, if you're lucky. Um, in doing top, that, yeah. At the top yeah. level. And... Um, look after the family, absolutely. and one hundred percent, and you can see that with even other other players. You know, Rooney, um, you know what I mean. Virtually being told by his wife, you know, I'm, I'm going back to England. Either you come back yeah. with me or don't bother. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't, yes. don't come home at all because you know, and it's what you got to do. He, right, his plan, need you. his plan was to finish there. You know what I mean? That was he, he said that when he left. Yeah. I'll um, see out my career in in the United States and. Finish me, co- get me coaching badges and so forth. Then move back to England yeah. and coach. It hasn't yeah, worked that out way. That's right. Now he's at Derby. Happy days. I'm more than happy with that. Um, as, an, as a Derby fan, but you know, play a coach. Yeah. Yeah, play. Well, yeah, play coaching role. He's 18 month deal, which could turn into um, another year on top of that playing. He's still only 33, yeah. so he's probably got a good two years left in him, especially at the championship level. But um. <laughs> you know, players like that. I, th- I think Robinson will go um, at some point. He, the money's going to be too good. If he keeps playing the way he's playing, he's worth... If Maguire and that's worth 80 mil, he's got to be close to friggin' 60, 70 mil, surely. Mm, yeah. Like yeah. now, but, like now. 
Yeah, I, I agree. I just think it's more of where do you go? If you yeah. pa- and don't want them to go, that, and you don't want them to go to someone in the Premier League, is, that's the problem. And I don't think he will. If we can, if we continue playing at the level we're playing, hmm. there's no reason for him to go. Yeah. Unless it's he's going a, over. It's a different league. Yeah. Yeah. It, we're yeah. in the. It's They'll not as though we're league. we're pushing the glass ceiling trying to finish four. You yeah. know, mm. Let, let's look at a few years ago, ten years ago when Torres left. Yeah. And we lost Alonso, we lost Mascherano. They all left because this place is crumbling. Yeah. You know? And mm. the Torres went to Chelsea and went, well, they're pushing to go out. They're pushing for first. Yeah. They're pushing to win things. We're not doing that here. Mm. Mm. Jetting. Whereas I think Liverpool will be in a spot of, if you're going, you to leave the country because there's no reason for you to go to a... Because yeah. there's, no, there's no need. Look, it's it's going to be interesting to see. I, I think the best example you can put it is um, Tr- Trent's probably the best person to put into this perspective. Twenty years of age, um, his whole football career still in front of him. Um, um, unbelievable talent at the age of twenty, born bred in Liverpool. Is he going to hang around for ten years? Not Who a chance. Reckon he will? I've, I've Not a chance. He will. Not a chance. Oh, you don't think? I no. reckon he would be... His, like, his he'll be a Steven Gerrard. No, That's I was about to say, he'll go, he'll go one or two ways. He'll either go abroad and he'll go within the next, say, year or two to try yeah, he'll, and experience he'll pull, things, he'll or pull a he'll be Owen. the next Steven Gerrard. Correct. Yeah. There's one or two yeah. ways. It'll either be... He'll be Michael Owen or it'll be Steven yep. Gerrard. Yeah, yep. we'll, we'll go, we'll come, we'll, we'll go, we realise he made a mistake and then try and crawl his way back. Yes. Um but he's he's remained adamant. He said, "It's the club I want to, you know, it's my boyhood club. I grew up supporting them. I want to, I want to have that captain's armband one day. And if he's yep. got those aspirations, and the club keeps doing what they're doing, sure will. It'll be fine. Gerard stayed through much harder periods than what we're going through. Oh, um, a, yeah, you know, hundred percent. So did John Terry. Period, so. so did Lampard. So did be all those yeah. sort of players. But at the same time as, as you said I think before it's it's not the same league 10 years ago you know what I mean no, like and, trying, and to, and trying to keep shame. blokes for that and I've heard many of players um, even in this sort of generation now like the last 5 years say that oh, I'm not going anywhere freaking this is the place I want to be Coutinho Coutinho said he didn't want to didn't want to go anywhere he was never going to go anywhere um he, he, wasn't, from Liverpool. he wasn't from Liverpool that's oh, right no 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 100% no <laughs> No, exactly right, and you and you are right. There, he's definitely not from Liverpool. I just can't see if if Trent does keep doing the things he's doing and keeps getting better year in year out. If blokes like Neymar and Ronaldo and but look, else, if we're gonna, if we're going to keep if we're going to keep Trent, it's okay. Here's a new contract with a sum of money. Why would you go? Well, that's the biggest thing, isn't it? Liverpool's got to say that's the thing. You got a, you got an offer from Barcelona, or Real Madrid, or whatever for 130 million dollars. That's then Trent and his manager, obviously his um, agent, going, well, match it. Yeah, you know what I mean. And is Liverpool going to stint that money? Um, you would hope so. And no, and as I said, no one wants to see him go. No one more than me. Well, I, 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 I'd hate to see him go. But I think it'll be it'll be a decision. It'll be can we replace his player? Yes or no? Can we? Are we going to build around him? Someone like Trent, he's a, he's a centrepiece that could be at the club for another 15 years. So yeah. for, I think they'd look at him and go, well, you're untouchable, if you know what I mean. Uh, but if we're talking, you know, in a year or two years' time, about maybe or Salah, depending, hmm. and they're starting to get the itchy feet of what's next. Yeah, well, okay, it's... and then we're looking at, all right, Mbappe 2020 <laughs> or whoever it may be, um, you know, it, it, there's players there that are, are probably replaceable with great quality players as well. Yeah, mm. Look, as I said, it's going to be div- it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I think, as, as I said, everyone wants to see him stay. I hope he stays um, for yeah. his whole career. But you know what? I hope you've just created a transfer room in this podcast so this can go <laughs> viral. Um, and then if he does move next year to Real Madrid and pulls Owen, well, then we can look back at here and say we called it. <laughs> look, as, as I said, the biggest thing is I think um, you look at it. He, as I said, he's twenty years of age. He is in that age group right now, where there will be so many. You know, he's not an adult. You know, twenty years of age. You know, he's just a he's just a kid. And his mum still does his washing. Hundred percent. And he will. <laughs> there will be so many people. So many people. Agents, ex-players, current players. 
in his ear going, mate, the the world's your oyster. You can go anywhere. Mate, come back if you want to. You know what I mean? Liverpool's going to want you back. Go try it for three years. And then he goes, and then he goes, shit, this is all right. I'm, I'm not going back. Bugger that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And that's the thing. We hope it doesn't happen, but we've just seen it too many times. Mbappe's another good one. You know? Well, speaking bread, of France. things that aren't going to happen, oh, yes. four hours to go, the, Manju- the Mandzukic deal to Old Trafford is off. I could have told you. Mm-hmm. And another one, our oh. lovely Andy Carroll is going to Newcastle. Back to Newcastle, looks oh, like. Yeah, with that's okay. With that's a pay okay. cut. <laughs> oh, I bloody hope so. And a better haircut. <laughs> yeah. And well, hopefully a with a better haircut. Sit, a, pay, a pay cut to sit on their bench. Yeah, well. He probably would. You know. Yeah, so. and, the, and, and there's also mm. the one where Evident were looking up Marcus Rojo, but apparently that's dead in the water now, too. <laughs> All right, but, just quickly, just yeah, quickly, yeah, can let's... we also talk about uh, Moisey Keane's quote about scoring seven goals for Everton? Oh. <laughs> Good old seven goals. What a, what a big target, $35 million. That's, uh... I, I hope to score seven goals and, and push us to fourth in the Premier League so we can play Champions League for the future. Yeah, he's not. Right, Sorry. Champ. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. sorry, mate. I, I, I rate Richarlison over him. Sorry. <laughs> uh, he's, he's again he's an unproven talent as well but yeah. he, he played some great games last season but um, <laughs> yeah. but know. again he had, his, he had his star years at Watford he just needs something similar to work with so, anyway I think we're going to start wrapping it up we're, we're well and truly yeah. over the hour mark um, I'm sure people are going to be sitting there going oh there's only another 40 minutes to go with this <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, guys obviously <laughs> Don't, don't laugh, Ben. It's not funny. No, I was laughing <laughs> at something else. But anyway. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I was say, laughing mate? at Klopp, but anyway. I don't laugh at Klopp. <laughs> well, you, you, this is what I mean, mate. This is what happens when you're not paying attention to the, to the BBC transfer, bloody... I am, on the, I am on the BBC Missouri. transfer. No, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, um, you, <laughs> go on, go on. Go on. You've, no, you've no, had a no, laugh. you go. You've had no, a laugh about go. Klopp. Come on, what, what, what's he said? I was laughing because he's sitting there. I saw the photo because he just took his seat at Melwood and he's just sitting there calm, cool, and collectively with a bottle of water in his mouth. Oh, a bottle of water? I'm surprised it's not in the stronger. Should be. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's that cl- typical cloth humour. Is it still water, or is it sparkling? <laughs> no, it's, it's still it's, water. Ben, it's the typical German humour, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, he's he's oh, again. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love his trend. I I love his conferences. What were we saying <laughs> yesterday, Ben? Learn all his yes. English from friends. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I did. That's also great. Classic. Absolute classic. So, um, anyway, we will start wrapping it up. Steve, mate, have you got anything, um, obviously, in regards to the Newcastle yeah. Reds itself? Obviously, with the game starting, um, was it 5 yeah, a.m., 4 a.m., something like that? Yeah, 5, 5 a.m. Uh, New South Wales time. Uh, yep. Australian Eastern um, Standard Time. Yep. Um, we'll be at uh, Cafe Cafe. Cafe Cafe. Oof. Um, did you get that right, Joanne? <laughs> yes, it did. Luckily. Cafe Cafe. Um, you can find us on our socials at LFC Newcastle on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also launch our official website, uh, lfcnewcastle.com. Um, that really should be .com.au, I've just noticed. But anyway, it is <laughs> .com. So we're, no, we're, it is .com. We're oh, okay. worldwide. Oh, beautiful. Um, <clears throat> um, so you, you can... Um, memberships now open to become official members of our supporters club as well. Yes. Um, so jump on the membership section. Um, we've also got a few sponsors there offering discounts and likes. So go to the website and check it all out, guys. I believe that's... Um, is it $20, $5 donation? Is that right? $20 uh, for the membership? Yeah, $20 yeah. for membership um, and 5 goes to uh, charity sponsorship as well. Good stuff. Um, now, we will also. For that. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, so uh, if you become a member of uh, LFC Newcastle uh, Supporters Club, you get 10% off all food and drink at Cafe Cafe. You get 10% off at Gentlemen's Outfitters. And you also get 10% off at Everything Football. So sign up and uh, find out how you can get all these wonderful discounts. Absolutely. Go in and see the guys from Everything Football. We uh, sat with the owners of Everything Football last night, Ben and I, down in Melbourne, in the freezing cold. Yes, um, we did. Lovely they people. They love me. Lovely people. You spend, <laughs> yeah, spend too much oh, money. Oh, they're telling me that was free postage and fix my jet shirt and put Trivium Homes on it for me. So, 
how, how good was, how good was it though? Friggin' oh yeah, oh no, you just buy what you need to and so forth. Yeah, we'll give you free postage. 150 bucks to get free postage anyway. Good gag. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not when I was buying stuff. Yeah. Um, but no, they were nice enough for me to, to tell me that I can send it up because I bought it before Previum Homes was a sponsor and they said they put it on and send it back to me for nothing. Beautiful. Nice. Absolutely good stuff. Um, the other thing as well is we uh, one of the members of the Newcastle Liverpool group are running a fantasy. Um, I'll try and get the links and so forth for that. I think it's 30 bucks a head. Um, and then the winner takes all, I think. Is that is that what's happening there? Correct. Yeah. Yep. So, um, yeah, no, no second or third. You need to be the winner. So, um, few, Perfect. A few blokes in there, so obviously the prize money will be a decent one. So, um, Thanks again, guys, for being here. Another week. Thank you. And no, thank you. Awesome. It was nice no, to come thank- back. Yeah, it's been a while, so I think we've yeah. been a little over time. Thanks for having us. No, yeah. just, it's been a couple of weeks. Hasn't been a great deal of stuff going on other than the um, friendlies and so forth, but obviously now we're back into it week in, week out. Game every week pretty well. So, um, And don't forget also the Super Cup. Yes, Super Cup. Yes, absolutely. perfect. So, so um, just on events for Newcastle people. Exactly what I was out there. <laughs> Um, <laughs> just uh, jump on the socials, follow us, and uh, we'll keep you up to date. Um, we should have a nighttime venue hopefully coming soon as well for uh, when Cafe Cafe can't host. Really? So keep your eyes peeled, and uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Every um, Everyone else who isn't in Newcastle who is listening to this, go get um, get the end of your local place or where cafe or pub or wherever you can get to, if not home. 5 a.m. start, get all your mates around, annoy the wife, absolutely, get into it. <laughs> um, other than that, guys, as I said, be sure to like, subscribe, and tick the notification bell on the YouTube side of things to be notified when we upload the next video. And till next time, we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>